In the headlines, NCA proves in court that nine applicants seeking to stop the September 30th deadline for SIM card re-registration have all registered their Ghana cards but have not gone for them from the NIA. PURC says they are closely monitoring why ECG prepaid customers are unable to top up. Soldiers ban illegal mining machines at Datano in Amansia South District. GFA suspends Ashanti Gold for dealing with banned officials. And Ghana Premier League suspended until the termination of Ash Gold suit. Welcome to the news in brief on Graphic Online. We start from the court where there is a slight twist to the suit filed by nine Ghanaians against the Attorney General and the National Communications Authority on the September 30th deadline for the re-registration of all mobile SIM cards and phone numbers using the Ghana card. The nine filed the suit at the Accra High Court seeking an interlocutory injunction against the AG and the NCA from going ahead to implement the September 30th deadline. The application is premised on the argument that he had applied for Ghana cards at various times but were yet to receive their identity cards. They therefore want the court to stop the state and the NCA from adhering to their re-registration deadline. This they say if allowed to go ahead, they will lose their SIM cards and phone numbers through no fault of theirs. But the NCA in a response to suit has showed that all the nine applicants have indeed applied for the Ghana cards. According to the NCA, their cards are ready and with the National Identification Authority, but they have failed to pick up their printed cards at the locations from where they were asked to do so. This information, according to the NCA, was obtained following a search at the NIA through a letter which the Executive Secretary of the NIA, Professor Ken Atefwa, has responded to. From the SIM card re-registration issues, we take you to the Electricity Company of Ghana, where many prepaid customers across the country have still not been able to top up credit since last Tuesday. The ECG is currently experiencing some technical challenges in relation to the metering system nationwide, which has resulted in some customers unable to top up electric power credits on prepaid meters for the past three days. The technical challenge has affected customers in 10 operational regional areas of the ECG in Volta, Kumase, Accra, Takrade, Tema, Cape Coast, Kaswa, Winiba, Swedro, Koforidra, Nkoko, and Tafo. Meanwhile, the Public Utilities Regulatory Commission says it was closely monitoring the challenges and has therefore assured all affected customers of its commitment to have the issue resolved quickly. Charles Ni Ayuku Ayuku, external affairs manager of the ECG, has this explanation on the challenge. I just want to use this opportunity to apologize to our customers for the inconvenience caused by this technical challenge. Yes, yeah, so um, Tuesday night, yes, we... We got information that some of our systems were not responding, uh, especially our prepaid metering systems, making it uh, impossible for our customers to purchase credit. Mm -hmm. So we uh, issued an announcement to that effect. Then on yesterday, the, we realized that it has affected some other areas within the operational areas of ECG. So it has to do with uh, prepaid metering systems and the, the fact that it's actually not responding to uh, prepaid purchase of prepaid or purchase of electricity credit. But yesterday and even throughout the the night of Tuesday through to Wednesday yesterday, some of the systems were able to respond. So they came up. Some customers. Um, were able to purchase credit. Unfortunately, the unexpected happened that it, it, it went down again. So we still apologize and we are making sure that the issue is uh, resolved and restored uh, to its normal. And in the fight against illegal mining, some soldiers last Monday burnt illegal mining machines at Datano in Amansia South District of the Ashanti region. This came to light when the Minister of Lands and Natural Resources, Samuel Abujinapal, visited the military personnel of Operation Hall 2, who undertook an operation in the area on Monday. The visit was to afford the minister the opportunity 
to assess the level of damage caused to the environment. The minister urged all Ghanaians to get involved in the fight against illegal mining to protect and save the environment. He said the fight should be a collective responsibility of all Ghanaians and not left only to the government. According to him, there was the need to stop the wanton destruction to the environment through illegal mining popularly called Galamsey. The minister expressed surprise that such activities took place in the area without the knowledge of the district assembly, chiefs, the police, and even the minerals commission. He said the death of the pits at the place showed that such activities have been ongoing for years and expressed the disbelief. <laughs> In sports, the Executive Council of the Ghana Football Association has suspended Ashanti Gold Sporting Club with immediate effect due to the club's continuous dealing with banned officials Kweku Frimpong and Emmanuel Frimpong. This, according to the GFA, constitutes a serious violation of both GFA statute and the FIFA statute. Kweku Frimpong and Emmanuel Frimpong have been banned by the GFA Disciplinary Committee for 10 years and 8 years respectively for engaging in match manipulations. In a related development, the GFA has announced the suspension of the Ghana Premier League until the determination of a court case filed at the Human Rights Court by Ashanti Gold SC against the GFA. Following the receipt of the suit, the GFA has decided to put the league on hold until the determination of the case. The FA has subsequently communicated the decision to all sponsors, partner and clubs. The Premier League was scheduled to enter match day 4 this weekend. News in Brief is brought to you by Graphic News Plus. Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. Thank you for watching. For more news, please visit our website graphic.com.gh or follow us on Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube and Twitter at GraphicGH. I'm Ama Amankwa Befi.